hello, hello. This is the Barbara Cox Show. Today's question, do we have the bragging rights? Do we have the bragging rights? Do we have the right to boast and brag about our good, good works? Do we? Hmm. The wise man should be wise enough not to boast or brag. The strong man should be healthy enough not to boast or brag. The rich man should be wealthy enough not to boast or brag. Oftentimes, we put our pleasures in health, wealth, and wisdom. We should find that inner peace in God. We should discover the sense of joy in God. We should experience that faithful love in God. Find happiness in God. He and only he has the bragging rights. Happiness is the state of being happy. And it's found in the relationship that you have with God. Happiness is found in the time that you spend with God. As life gives us highs and lows, because of the relationship with God, we are steady and we are rooted in the love of God. You don't Take the successes or the failures for granted because you're rooted, you're steadfast, unmovable in the strength and the wisdom and the love of God. So do we have the bragging rights? Do we have the black <laughs> bragging rights? The glory goes to God. We must glorify God. So let not the wise glory in his wisdom. So let not the mighty glory in his mighty. So let not the rich man glory in his riches. Let not the powerful man glory in his power. Let not the strong man glory in his strength. Are you glorifying the Lord? Or are you bragging? We do not have the bragging rights. The right of bragging and boasting belongs to the Lord. Jeremiah 9.23 says again, let not the wise boast of their wisdom, of the strong boast of the strength of the rich boast of their riches. The wisdom, the strength, the wealth. It all comes from God. And the joy of knowing the Lord is greater than all three. <coughs> but once you know the Lord. Once you spend time with God, you will know right away that those three things come from God. As you get to know the Lord, <coughs> he gives you all these. He gives you. He gives you wisdom. He gives you strength. He gives you riches. Without the Lord, your life will not be fulfilled. <coughs> you may think that you're happy, but not without the joy of the Lord. Not without the peace of the Lord. The faithful love of the Lord. God made the world. 
and everything in it. So do we have the bragging rights? Take a few moments and think of, of on your life and ask yourself that question. Ask yourself, are you glorifying the Lord or are you bragging or boasting? I'm sorry, I had to get some water. Today, do we have the bragging rights? And I say we because the the word always starts with me. Breaks into my heart, plants a seed into my heart. It speaks to my heart and it speaks to others. So, in other words, I have to examine myself. I have to check myself before I can speak out to others. Question is Do we have the bragging rights? So we ask ourselves that question. Do we have the bragging rights? So the only source of the true happiness is found in God. The common source of happiness, we talk of wisdom. That's the skills, our intelligence, our experience. We think of our strength. That's the physical health. And then the riches... It's, it's wealth, but it all comes from God. He says, any man that lacked wisdom, let him ask. He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increases their strength. And then he and only he has the power to obtain wealth. And he wants us to prosper, even our souls to prosper. So we as people want to be satisfied, our self-appetites. We're enticed to love all kind of things, worldly things, worldly lust, worldly pleasure. But the world didn't give it. The world cannot give you these things. Only God can. Only God can give you a source of true happiness. That's found in knowing Christ. True happiness, the joy of the Lord, is your strength. The wisdom that comes from God is the only wisdom that you will ever have that gives you the skills and the intelligence and the experience. That's a supernatural experience. The anointing of God. And God always provides. He is your provider. He is the one that gives you the power to have wealth. So knowing God, Yahweh, a faithful love only comes from him. The God of justice, the only one that has the heart, the compassion, the forgiving heart, a loving heart. And the God of peace, the Prince of Peace. And the agape love that he has. Do we have the bragging rights? No. We don't have the right to brag. Only God has that right because only God can provide the things that we so desire. And God gives those things to us. So do we have the bragging rights? We are to glorify God. We We are to operate from the gifts that he's given us, operating and doing the works that he has us to do. But it's all for his glory. It is not for us to boast. 
or brag. Let not the wise boast of their wisdom, or the strong boast of their strength, or the rich boast of their riches. I'm going to pray <clears throat> that if you have found yourself boasting or bragging about the things that God has given you, the gifts, the talents, the assignments, the platforms, your endeavors in your life are to be used to glorify God. Father, Lord God, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus. I come before you, Father. I thank you for this powerful word. I thank you for touching my heart, Father. I thank you for penetrating into my heart, Father. And then I thank you for speaking through me, Father, to others as you touch their hearts as well. You penetrate their hearts, Father. You touch our minds, Father. And you to help us to think on these things and to glorify you, Father. To help us not to boast and brag. Not to take self-gratification, Father, but to build the kingdom by glorifying you. To know that these things are given to us, Father, Lord God, as you are doing a great work in us, Father. That we may draw all those that are lost to you, Father. That we may seek after you, Father. We may build a relationship with you, Lord God, that would allow us to see that we we don't have the bragging rights, that it belongs to you. That our bodies was paid with a price, Father Lord God. When you sent Jesus Christ, that was the price, Father Lord God. That gave you the rights, Father. That gave you the bragging rights. And not ourselves, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Holy Spirit, move. Hallelujah, God. We don't have the bragging rights in the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. It all belongs to you. Father, forgive us, Lord God, if if we find ourselves boasting or bragging, Father, whether you are the God that has given us everything, Father, you are our provider, you are our source, Father, you are our center, Lord God, hallelujah, of this great creation, Father, Lord God, that you've done inside of us, Father, you put great works in our hearts, God. It's all about you. It's not about us. Greater is he that is in us. You are in us. You are operating through us, Father, Lord God. Father, forgive us, Lord Jesus, and help us to turn, Father. Help us to turn from our evil ways. Help us to repent and give our lives to you, God. If anyone is lost, Father, they don't know if you are prayed today. That they get to know you, Father. That they give their lives to you. And they say, Lord, forgive me, Father. I give my life to you. I give myself away to you totally, Father, Lord God. It's my prayer, Father. Lord Jesus, help us today from this day forward. Not to boast or brag, Father. Not to entice in in the worldly lust, the worldly pleasures. But to seek after you, Father. To press forward toward you in Jesus' mighty name is my prayer. Thank you for building us up, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you for giving us the strength. Thank you for giving us the weak, giving us strength when we're weak, Father. Thank you for giving us wisdom, Lord God. And thank you for giving us the wealth. For it's only you that gives us the power to obtain wealth. But it's all for your glory. It's all for your glory. In the name of Jesus, we will we will lift you, your, your holy name up, Father Lord God. As you lift us up and give us strength, Father. We will lift up your holy name. That it draws all others. That it draws all you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Glory to your name. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your mighty name. Your great Father, Lord God, thank you. Glory to your name. We will glorify you, God. We will not boast or brag. We will glorify you, God. We will not take any of this, Father, Lord God, for our self-gratification. Self pleasure. The name. Oh, your name. Your name is greater. Your name is much greater. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. 